check this release notes, so many items. And on top of all that, we also got widgets for iOS. I have to be honest, it's been a little hard to keep up with the constant flow of new features. But hey Evernote, <laughs> don't slow down because of me. I could be wrong, but I don't think dragging a single note to create a link is a new feature. But multiple notes definitely was not available before. However, I may be missing something here. Say I want to select this three notes here and create links in this note here. As you already know, this note is here because it is selected on the left panel. But the moment I select the three other notes, I can even grab them, but there's no way to, to open this note and drop them here. Yes, that was the web version, but as you can see here, the same happens on the Mac app. There's no way I can drag the notes to another note. I can only do it if I open the target note in a new window. Now I can select three or more notes and drag them here. And yes, it also works on the web version if you have two different tabs. So let me delete this here. Let's expand this. If you haven't yet, watch my other video where I share Evernote web tips. Okay, now I can select the three notes and drag them to the other window. And of course you can make this a little better. This is a great addition to the shortcuts family, but unfortunately, at least for now, it only works on the app, the Evernote app for Windows and Mac. Use the shortcut Alt Command F10 on Windows or Function Option F10 on Mac. Did you see that? <laughs> now you can move around the formatting bar using the arrow keys. And you can even open the drop down menus with an enter. Navigate here and select whatever you want or use escape to go back to the bar. I know that not everybody is in love with the idea of moving around with the keyboard. I find this really, really efficient. There is even a video here on the channel where I explore some of the Evernote shortcuts. If you are addicted to your keyboard, check that other video. You'll find the link in the description below. This is another good addition to be more efficient, but it's so new that I'm forgetting about it all the time. Every time I'm trying to create a new habit, what I do is force myself to do it. Let's say you want to copy this address and create a link in Evernote. What would you do? Select it here, click here, or in my case, I'm a keyboard lover, shortcuts lover, Command K on Mac or Control K on Windows and paste it here. The link is here, but there's an easy way to do it. And every time I do it like this, I undo it to force myself to learn what's the easy way. The easy way is simply selecting the text and Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. That's so simple. Widgets were always part of Android and Evernote widgets exist since ever. I don't remember them not existing. Now that they are also available on iOS, I have already started working on a video to show you how useful they can be. But allow me to quickly share with you the ones I use all the time. The action bar is the best way to create a new node, a new task, take a picture, right from the home screen of your phone or tablet. The notes list is the other widget I use all the time. In my opinion, it's the best way to predict what's the next note will need. If you watch this other video, you understand how this is possible. And if this video was useful for you and you wanna learn more about Evernote, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.